a very good morning to all today we are moving on to the 11th chapter and the name of the chapter is time and money so you all know time is very important in our life we can say time is very precious so there is a time to do everything right so there is a time to wake up in the morning there is a time to go to the school there is a time to have breakfast there is a time to go to bed there is a time to have dinner so for everything there is a time so where do we see this time we use a clock or a watch to see the time so most of you have watch right you use this watch to see the time so what about clock have you seen clock you have clock in your home right so do you use the clock to see the time so let's discuss about reading the time in a clock so here you can see the picture of a clock so in this clock there are numbers written how many numbers are there there are 12 numbers and it is arranged from 1 to 12 1 2 3 4 and it goes till 12 in that you can see three hands so one is the minute hand the other one is the hour hand and the next one is the second hand so we learn about the minute hand and the hour hand so if you closely observe this picture you can see can you see this long hand so this long hand we call it as the minute hand and can you see this short hand this short hand is the hour hand and this hour hand tells us what hour it is so the hour hand tells us what hour it is so the hour exactly happens when the minute hand is at 12 and the hour hand points to a number so let me repeat the exact hour happens when the minute hand is at 12 and the hour hand points to a number so let me give you an example can you say what time is it so you can see the hour hand hour hand points to which number number 8 and where is the minute hand minute hand is exactly at 12 so what time it is it is 8 o'clock so you can write it as 8 o apostrophe clock it can also be written as 8 colon 0 0 so what time is it it is 8 o'clock so the r tells us so the r hand tells us what hour it is okay then so do you know to draw a clock so let's draw a clock so you can take your notebook then let's draw a clock for that first you can draw a circle so you can use a bangle or any other object to get the shape of the circle so you can draw a circle and you don't need to draw these two lines because this is for your understanding i have drawn this two lines so first let's draw the circle then after that we need to write numbers right in the order 1 to 12 there are 12 numbers right so we need to write the numbers so this is very very important so here you need to write 12 okay then opposite to 12 here you need to write 6 okay so 12 opposite to 12 it is 6 fine then here you need to write 3 then opposite to 3 you need to write 9 so let's write here 9 so 12 opposite to 12 6 then here see 3 opposite to 3 9 then what you need to do next you need to fill the numbers so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11
Now we need the two hands. So we need to set the time 5 in this clock. Okay? We are going to set the time 5 in this clock. So we learnt that the hour hand tells what the hour is. So we learnt about minute hand and hour hand. So minute hand is the long hand and the hour hand is the short hand. Okay, so we need to draw the two hands. So the hour hand tells what hour it is. So we need to draw 5, 5 o'clock. We need to represent the time 5. Okay, so So here you can see the small hand points to 5 and the minute hand that is the long hand points exactly to 12. So what time is it? It is 5 o'clock. Fine? Then can you say what time is it? So you can see the two hands, the hour hand and the minute hand. So where is the hour hand? Which is the hour hand? The small hand. It points to which number? 4. Where is the minute hand? This is the minute hand. It points to 12. So what time is it? It is 4 o'clock. So did you all learn how to read the time in a clock? Okay. Now you can take page number 156 in your textbook. So let's recall. Here you can see two different pictures and two dialogues. So what you need to do here is you have to match the dialogue with the correct picture. See the first dialogue. It says, good morning teacher. And see the picture? The first picture you can see the teacher entering into the classroom. And in the second picture, it is night. So the kid goes to the bed. It's in night time. So when do you say good morning? When your teacher enters the class in the morning, you wish them, right? How do you wish? You wish good morning, right? So which, ma which dialogue match the first picture? So you can match this, fine? See the second one, good night mother. So when do you say good night to your mother? At night, right? When you go to sleep, you say good night to your mother. So, which picture? The second picture. So, you can match this. Understood? So, see the next one. The second one. So, here you can see different pictures. And what you do here is, you have to number the pictures in the order of their happening. Okay. So, you can see a bottle filled with milk. Then an empty bottle. Then you can see a kid drinking the milk. So you have to number them in the correct order. So you can number it as first bottle which is filled with milk. So let's number it one. Okay. Then the kid drinking the milk. So that is the second one. So let's write here two. Then the bottle becomes empty. So that is the third one. So let's write here three. So likewise, we need to the next one, B. So here, you need to number them in the order of their happening. See the second one? First, you can see the kid. So the first one. Then this kid grows into a girl. The second one. Then the girl grows into a woman. That is number three. Now we can take page number 157 get set so see the first question take the activity you do first after you wake up in the morning so there are two options given brush teeth eat breakfast so you can take the activity that you do first after you wake up in the morning brush teeth eat breakfast so take the first one so take the right one Okay, so see the second one. Here you can see pair of pictures. So in each pair, you have to write E for the action that take place earlier and you have to write L for the action that take place later. 
Okay, so we all do different things in an order. We can say in a step by step order. So things that we do first, we can say earlier. And the things after that, we can say later. So see the first pair. We can see the clothes are being dried. Then we can see the clothes for washing. So which step happens first? So first you wash the clothes, right? So first you wash the clothes. You use washing powder, you use water to wash the clothes. So that happens first, right? So that happens first, we can write earlier. So first that happens. So you can write here E. Okay? Once you are done with the washing, what will you do? You will dry the clothes. Right. You hang the clothes outside for drying. So that happens after washing. So that happens later. So you can write here later. Understood? So see the next one. One more example. Here you can see a man is making a pot. Here you can see the pot is ready. So which happens first? First, the man makes the pot. So here you can see he is making the pot. So this happens first. So it is earlier. So you can write E. So after that, the pot is done. After that, the pot is completed. So it happens later. So it is L. So you can write here L. See the third one. Here you can see following pictures and what you need to do here is you have to write F for the activity that takes less time and you have to write S for the activity that takes more time. Did you understand? Here you can see different pictures. What you need to do here is you have to mention F if any of these activities take less time and you have to write S for the activities that take more time. Fine. So here you can see a girl is drinking. Then you can see a girl having food. Then this boy is washing his hands. Then you can see the other one. He is taking bath. So can you all observe this picture very carefully? And can you just write down? Which activity takes lesser time and which activity takes more time. So, according to it, you can fill the box. So, can you all do this by yourself? So, you can do this by yourself. Okay. So, the activity that takes lesser time, you have to write F. And the activity that takes more time, you have to write S. Fine. Can you all do it? So, you can do this by yourself. Okay. Then, take page number 159. So, we have some questions based on the topic clock. So, here what you need to do is, you have to write the time shown in the following clocks. Fine? So, the first one is already done. So, let's move to the second one. So, here, where is the hour hand? The hour hand points to 5. And where is the minute hand? It is, it points exactly to 12. So what time it is? It is 5 o'clock. So let's write here 5. So here also 5 colon 0, 0. Fine? So see the next one. So the, our hand points to which number? 3. And where is the minute hand? It is exactly at 12. So what time it is? It is 3 o'clock. So let's write here 3. So here also 3 colon 0, 0. See the next one. Here the hour hand points to 2. Then where is the minute hand? It is exactly at 12. So what time it is? 2 o'clock. So let's write here 2. Here also 2 colon 0, 0. It can also be written like this. Fine. Then there are 2 more questions. That one you can do it by yourself. See the next. Here you need to draw the hands. 
you need to draw the long and short hands on the cloak for the time shown here okay so what is the time given here 8 o'clock so what time it is given 8 so you need to represent this in the clock so the our hand points to 8 so our hand is the small hand and the minute hand points exactly at 12 our hand the minute hand is the long hand fine see the second one you have to represent 9 9 o'clock so the our hand points to which number 9 our hand is the small hand and the minute hand is the long hand that points exactly at 12 so what time it is 9 o'clock now let's see the third one the time given here is 1 so the our hand points to 1 so our hand is the small hand then the minute hand points exactly at 12 so that is the long hand so that is 1 1 o'clock so there are three more questions in your textbook that you can do it by yourself then in page number 160 so here let's read this you have to draw hands on the clock wherever the time is given so wherever the time is given you have to draw the hands then and you have to write the time wherever it is shown fine so let's read this let's understand this and let's do it okay so discipline is important for a successful life Sarah does all her activities on time during a day. So this is about Sarah. So this tells about the different activities that Sarah does in a day. Okay. So see the first. Waking up early in the morning keeps us healthy. So do you all wake up early in morning? So it is very very healthy. Waking up early in the morning. Sarah wakes up at 6 o'clock in the morning. So, what time she woke up? She woke up at 6. Here, see, the time given here is 6 o'clock. And you have to represent that in the clock. So that is 6 o'clock. So, the hour hand points to which number? 6. So, let's draw the small hand. So, this is the hour hand that points to 6. Then, the long hand points to 12. So, it is 6 o'clock. See the next. Eating meals on time keeps us fit. Sarah eats her breakfast at. See, what time she have her breakfast? See, where is the hour hand? The hour hand is at 8. And where is the minute hand? It is at 12. So, what time? It is 8 o'clock. So, you have to write here 8 o'clock. So, like this 8 o'clock. C-L-O-C-K. Okay, then she takes her lunch at. So see what time she'll have her lunch. Where is the hour hand? It is at 1. Where is the minute hand? It is exactly at 12. So what time is it? It is 1 o'clock. So you have to write here 1 o'clock. So you can write here 1 o'clock. Then and eats her dinner at. So when she'll have her dinner. So see the hour hand points to 7. The minute hand is exactly at 12. So what time is it? It is 7 o'clock. So here you have to write 7 o'clock. Done? Then playing helps us refresh our mind and also increases our physical strength. So playing keeps our body healthy and it refreshes our mind. Then Zera goes for playing every day at 5 o'clock. So here what is given? Time is given. So you have to draw the hands on the clock. So time is 5 o'clock. So can you draw this? You can draw this by yourself, right? So the hour hand points to 5. That is the short hand. And the minute hand points exactly at 12. So you can draw this. Fine? See the next. The remaining part. Sarah loves to study and learn new things. She does her homework 
every day at dash in the evening so what time she does her homework in the evening so the clock is given so you can see your textbook so the time is given here the hour hand points to 6 and the minute hand points to 12 so can you say what time is it it is 6 o'clock so you have to write here 6 o'clock so that is about reading time so do you all learned about time so do you understood how to read time in a clock fine now let's learn about days so do you know how many days are there so there are seven days so can you say which are these seven days that is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday so you can say this once more which are the seven days from monday to sunday so the seven days make a week so one week has how many days seven days so one week has how many days seven days can you say which is the first day in a week that is monday and which is the last day in a week that is sunday so how many days we have that is seven days one week has how many days seven days and which is the first day in a week monday and which is the last day in a week sunday okay then there is a problem based on this days in a week so see page number 161 so this one i'm giving you as an activity for you so this gives you an idea about the different days in a week and below that there are some questions based on this so first you have to read this then you have to understand it then you have to answer these questions so this is very interesting take time and read this understand it then try to answer these questions so once you are done with this you can send this to microsoft teams okay so in the last class we learned the addition table 8 so let's learn the addition table of 9 so you can repeat it along with me so 9 plus 1 so what is 9 plus 1 10 9 plus 2 11 9 plus 3 12 9 plus 4 13 9 plus 5 14 9 plus 6 15 9 plus 7 16 9 plus 8 gives you 17 9 plus 9 18 9 plus 10 19 so you can repeat this two or three times that will help you in your calculations so we are done with the topic days in a week and reading time so we'll meet in the next class and discuss another new topic. Till then, thank you.